SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got a big network update. Looks like some innovations happening over at T-Mobile as they continue to fine-tune their network and I guess make it interoperable with international 5G standalone networks. All right, so this is probably important, very forward-looking. Uh, it's good to see that you know T-Mobile is finding a way to, to work on these things and making sure that they're going to work effectively in the future. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about this progress and we'll be discussing this in today's video. The article will be linked in the description and ways to support us here at the SMT down in the description as well. All right, T-Mobile and BICS both make progress with 5G SA roaming. Let me give you guys some of the highlights of this news. Uh, T-Mobile has been working with two carriers, Sunrise in Switzerland and AIS in Thailand. They've been working on 5G standalone or 5G SA roaming tests between the U.S. and Switzerland and between the U.S. and Thailand. Also announced, uh, BICS, which is a company that facilitates international roaming and has expertise in handovers from one carry to another, uh, they said that they had been working with AIS in Thailand and STC Kuwait to complete a 5G SA roaming connection. Okay, so why does this matter, right? Uh, people travel. And these handsets and these networks need to play nicely. They need to coexist. They need to coalesce. And they need to be compatible. They need to talk to each other. So, uh, you know, bridging these connections, you know, getting a, a flawless, reliable, you know, uh, internetwork connectivity is going to be important for international travelers, you know, handing off from network to network to be able to effectively use their devices. So, uh, you know, BICS said that it's it did work with the AIS and STC Kuwait uh, that they were able to prove 5G roaming connectivity through data texting and calls over a standalone 5G network core connection, and uh, that, that's that's pretty important, right? So th this is kind of what we need to know. You know, when you take your phone and you travel, is it going to work as it should? Uh, T-Mobile in a statement, uh, I think it was their uh, president of technology. You guys know Ulf. Uh, he was saying that, you know, they've got these roaming partners in 200 countries across the globe and they want to make sure that, you know, customers when they, you know, go overseas can continue to use their devices as they so please, including emerging technologies, right? So whether it's network slicing or it's, you know, just traditional roaming use cases or whatever, maybe they're using, yeah, and, and two, three years from now, right, the applications for 5G you know, the doors are going to be swinging wide open. So who knows what customers are going to need. Uh, but it's good to see T-Mobile expanding the 5G SA roaming interconnectedness, right? And we know that T-Mobile and Deutsche Telekom, you know, parent company, you know, they'll have, uh, you know, strong integrations in Europe, meeting the, the roaming needs of their customers. And, uh, the, hey, this is going to be a work in progress, but I will tell you guys, I'm very happy about this. I... I'm hoping that it's ready for prime time when customers are able to connect between T-Mobile's native SA 5G and any other country's native SA 5G networks. And of course, that just depends on the country you go to. There are going to be a lot of countries still, you know, mostly 3G and 4G LTE, you know, and, and 5G isn't really provided outside of the NSA connection, possibly. Uh, but it's good to see this, and I'm glad. I'm glad to see this is in development. And it should mean that, you know, T-Mobile should be on the forefront of these integrations when the time comes. All right, what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You all voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.